All right, guys, so this video is about the uh, adrenal cortex questions. You know, I, I when I was studying through this, I always had trouble knowing the 11 versus 17, 21 hydroxylase. So if you understand that the, the pathway, I know there's a way to memorize it, but if you understand the concept behind it, I don't care how they would ask you the question forwards, backwards, upside down, doesn't matter, uh, is that if you learn it this way, the, the way we're going to teach here in a second, I think you'll, you'll be prepared for any question that they could ask. All right, guys, so here's the... Uh, those adrenal cortex uh, questions that you tend to get on the on your your step exams. So here's how we here's how we're going to attack those. We know that in the adrenal cortex, three layers, okay, and it goes like this. And we know the first, you know, obviously the uh, the first layer is the uh, glomerulus, okay. And then we got the fascicular, uh, fascicular layer. Okay, I'll get my spelling on that. And then we got the reticularis. Okay, and they always say, you know, the sweeter, the sweeter it is, the more you go in, all that kind of good stuff. But GFR, right? So we have to know where those enzymes, right? It was the it was the 21 hydroxylase, the 17, and then the 11. So it's real easy. And the, and the key with this is you got to know the concept behind it. And I don't care what kind of question that they ask us. So again, adrenal cortex, everything is stimulated by ACTH, and if you come down to the to the uh, the glomerular layer, you know we're dealing with aldosterone, okay? We're dealing with aldosterone, and you got it. And here's the key: I can't stress this enough. And I used to tell people, if you know this, you can answer so many questions right on the step exam. Is that here in this layer, sodium, if activated, the sodium gets reabsorbed, and then um, you have hydrogen ion and potassium that both get uh, excreted. So when this gets activated, sodium gets reabsorbed, hydrogen gets excreted, potassium gets excreted. That's normal, right? This fascicular layer, you're dealing with cortisol. And then the reticularis, you're dealing with the sex hormones, okay? So normally, this is what happens. Now you have these enzymes, and you just got to know where to place these guys, right? You got to know where to place them. We're going to put 21, then we put 11, and then we're going to put 17 right there. So now, if you know what normal is, if we can knock out these guys, which is the question that they ask, you got to understand, when this ACTH comes down this pipe, he gets spread evenly to all these. But now, let's just say you, get, you knock out the 21, right? Now, that's the most common, so they like to ask that question. Say you knock out 21, what happens to all that ACTH? It comes down, but it can no longer go this way. So it all gets pushed here, right? It all gets pushed to the reticularis. So what happens? We get a bunch of this stuff, excess uh, sex hormones. So in 21 hydroxylase deficiency, what does it look like? Well, you get hypotension. And we were, wait a second, what do you mean hypotension? Well, that makes sense because if it didn't go this way, I'm not reabsorbing any sodium. If I don't reabsorb sodium, my blood pressure is going to go down. Okay, so I get hypotension. And now if I'm a, you know, if it's a, an XX, if it's a female, but if the female gets all this excess sex ho hormone stuff, what's going to happen? She's going to look uh, almost, like a, almost like a guy. So she, that's when they have that uh, clitoral enlargement, okay? And then if it's, a, if it's a, a boy and they have all these excess uh, hormones, this is where you have that, uh, like a precocious um, puberty. And then, of course, if you're not getting the cortisol, you have your salt wasting, okay? But it, it makes sense that if you knock these guys out, you're not getting this. You're not getting the reabsorption of sodium, sodium and you're not excreting the hydrogen, not excreting the uh, potassium either. But you're not getting the cortisol, but you're getting a bunch of this stuff. That's the most common one. But now let's think about that. What about, this, what, about what happens when the 17 gets knocked out, okay? Let's go 17 hydroxylase deficiency. Well, let's just see what, the, what happens there. If this gets knocked out, where does all the ACTH go? Straight down. It doesn't go over here. It goes straight down because he can't pass that step right there. So what happens if you get a bunch of this? Well, you're going to get a bunch of sodium reabsorption, right? And so you're going to have hypertension because of the increased sodium. You're not going to get any androgens, right? You're not getting any of the sex hormones. 
So if you're the boy, well, you kind of look like a you know you look like a girl, and then if you're the girl, you're just under developed, right? Because you didn't it didn't it wasn't allowed to go this way. It was knocked out right at the 17. Now the kicker to this whole deal is if you get an 11 uh, deficiency, it looks exactly like the 21. Everything gets pushed this way, except. Uh, you got a little bit of hypertension, okay? You got it, it, meaning it got to this point, so you got a little bit of that hypertension. So it's a, so the 11 hydroxylase looks it looks like 21 hydroxylase, but hypertension. That's the key. You got to have that piece. If I see someone like this, but they have hypertension, you got to think it's an 11, okay? So let's look at these questions. It says. A newborn develops vomiting and low blood pressure. On physical exam, there's evidence of clitoromegaly, so we gotta have that in our thought process. Um, lab findings are as follows. Sodium is 122, now that's low, okay? Potassium, okay, a little bit high, a little bit elevated. And then blood glucose is, is, is low. All right, so it's got all the makings, right? So I would just come here and on the chart I got, I'd probably have this memorized by, by that time. And all you do is you label it 21, 21, 11, 11, and 17. And the fact that they have this, this clitoromegaly, I know that everything got pushed uh, this way, okay? And so I know, um, but, and they didn't give me anything about, um, you know, about hypertension, but they said it was low, low sodium. So I'm, know that it's got to be this deficiency. So, okay, so what does this look like on a 21? Well, my cortisol levels. Well, cortisol was here, right? Did cortisol go up or down? It never made it this way. So cortisol is going to go down, okay? What about my serum ACTH? Well, the fact is all these guys were, these, you know, all these guys weren't functioning, right? So what's going to happen? The body's going to say, this ain't working. We need more ACTH because this guy's not putting that putting out like you should. So ACTH goes up. What about my 7 hydroxy progesterone? Well, if all the ACTH couldn't go down and it got pushed this way, I'm going to have a lot of the 17, right? Too much of the 17. So 17 is going to be elevated, okay? And then as far as the aldosterone, aldosterone was right here we talked about, right? It's at the bottom of the uh, glomerular layer. So aldosterone was going to go, um, um, so the aldosterone, yeah, it's at the bottom, so it didn't get activated because it all got pushed that way. So aldosterone is going to go low. So the only answer here is going to be answer choice C, okay? You got to know this, but if you have the concept down, I don't care how they ask this question. You're going to know where the ACTH goes. And again, just remember, sodium reabsorbed, potassium, hydrogen uh, get excreted, and just figure out where, where does everything get cut off and where does all the energy go to, okay? Now, this one says a 34-year-old Caucasian male comes to his primary care physician for follow-up. His blood pressure readings are 180 over 105 and remain here whether he is standing or sitting. Heart rate is 80, low plasma renin noted. Which of the following would be most likely involved in the patient's condition? Okay, well... I, when I see the answer choices like this, um, I start thinking, okay, uh, well, low plasma renin, okay, it's going to eliminate the JG. So I'm going to come down here like this, and I'm thinking, I remember that this guy, the sodium gets reabsorbed here, hydrogen, potassium, cortisol, and then uh, this is the sex, 21, 21, 11, 11, 17, even though that's not what it's really asking. So. Which of these would have the increased, uh, would, would be increased in a, in, a, in a grown man who's, who's got the uh, elevated high blood pressure no matter what? He's getting too much going down this, down this pathway. So what layer is going to be elevated? Because this is my one with the hypertension. It's going to be the, uh, glomer, the glomerular uh, layer of the, of the um, adrenals. Okay? You just you got to know this. Now, last one in here says an infant female child is, is coming to you for evaluation for ambiguous genitalia. Okay, it's a female. Uh, there is a history of high blood pressure on previous examinations. Which of the following is the most likely to be reduced uh, in this patient? Okay, well, you can tell they're, they're going down that road. Now, the fact is, 
And again, I, I just like drawing this out because it's, it's so important. Um, and then cortisol, and then we got the sex hormones, 21, 21, 11, 11, and 17. So if they got ambiguous genitalia, so that tells me it got pushed this way, okay? So that means the ones that are probably reduced is either 21 or 11. They told me there's a history of high blood pressure because remember these both look the same, but if they have high blood pressure, that means they actually got down just a little bit. So that means the deficiency is not the 21, the deficiency is the 11, okay? Can't stress that enough, guys. And it's actually, if you understand the, the, concept, the concept behind it, it doesn't matter how they ask the question. Remember, ACTH comes in. We have the glomerulars, vesiculata, reticularis. On this one, we deal with aldosterone, sodium, hydrogen, potassium. This one's cortisol. This one's the sex hormones. You put 21, you put 21, you put 11, you put 11, you put 17. And, you can, and I don't care what they do. If they knocked out this one, everything goes down. If they knocked out him, everything went to the uh, right. They knocked out him, everything went to the right, but they got a little bit of hypertension. You should be able to get any question right when it comes to the whole 11, 17, and 21 uh, deficiencies. So hope this helps.